Hello everyone, welcome back. We're Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of something different. We have a passion for filmmaking and travel and with our two little dogs, we're gonna take on the world, starting from tomorrow. We're currently down in Andalusia, attempting to build a van in just 50 days. Join us in today's vlog as we attempt to stop the doors from falling off. We deal with some major rust issues, start on the pretty stuff, and we take our 33 year old camper van for the dreaded vehicle inspection. Could this be the end of the road? for little old Vinster. What's going on here? Leave you alone for five minutes. This wasn't the job for the day, but end up just taking over. Came down here to put your electrics in and then you end up just taking the back of the van apart. This hinge is getting quite bad. Well, it's like completely snapped and we need to fix it um, before the whole door falls off. So we thought it's kind of priority. Hopefully we can change it. Yeah, we figured out in order to get the hinge out and replace it, we need to take this bumper off then we need to take the the corner panel off and to do that we need to take the light out there's always one thing after another probably get your ball shouldn't we really go uh, here it is go ah. no. very easy to get distracted isn't it when there's sweet sweet doggies around i have got time to play with you Someone suggested painting these with the white hammerite just to protect them before we put them on the van because otherwise they could well rust again so I thought that was a good idea. Pernickety are you darling? You're not giving in all the tiny nooks and crannies that are going to be covered up. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said this van build's going to take 50 days? Let's not take off too many more plastic panels. I know. <laughs> that could delay the whole process. Good job though. Now I know what you're thinking. It's torturous for Vinny. Vinny's just parked there watching us work on Velton, feeling all left out, thinking he's been abandoned. Look at that, it's a nasty hole out. I don't know if you can see that. So I have been going around the rims, which is probably the worst part of Vinny. That's the rust. And just scraping it all back with a wire brush, getting a knife out there, getting into the grooves, probably the best treatment he's had. Will be the best treatment he's had. So just going around all the rims, all the little bits that need work. I'm gonna treat that with crust and then hammer it and that will do. We're not going to do a professional job because we're not professionals and because he's got his MOT in the next few days. door supported by a plank resting on that bumper bar on the little plastic stall and the jack don't forget to mention nick's underpants oh yeah they're playing a key role a key role i had to get him to take off his underpants this morning just so we could have these little underpants protecting the paintwork on the van. So we got the bracket off. We've only been down here half an hour and we got the bracket off. We couldn't get the bolt off last night. We snapped two pieces, two 13 millimeter socket set things. They snapped. We had one really difficult um, bolt that we left for today. This morning, boom. There's our culprit, as you can see, completely snapped away there. Look how nice that looks, by the way. This was all rusty and all marked. This was all rusty and it's all lovely now. 
Nick is doing a very, very fine job on the old uh, rust treatment for Vinster. There was like basically a hole here, so um, not sure how well that's picking up, but we've had to, um, what do you call it? Fiberglass? Mm, Fiberglass putty stuff to fill in the hole. Now it's going to be all sanded down. Of course, it's nowhere near perfect, but it's, you know, it's fine. It's, it's a pretty good job. And then you can see there, that's got to be all sanded down as well. And then we'll be using the um, the white paint to cover it up. And uh, yeah, just the good old fashioned annual rush treatment on little old Vinster <laughs> that gets done every year. And take a look at this. There's a new hinge on there. Everything fits, it's on. We're very, very happy. We've opened and shut the door a little bit and it's all, yeah, it's all good. So just got to put it all back together and then do the other side. This one hasn't quite snapped off all the way, but as you can see there, it's probably not far away. Oh yeah. It's a bit more fiddly because we didn't take this whole thing off this time. We just kind of moved it aside rather than taking that off and the other bottom panel to get to the main front. But the bolts weren't as jammed on. They weren't as, rust, uh, weren't as rusty, thankfully. So we managed to do it. So both hinges are almost done, which means we don't have to be careful when we open the doors anymore. Two new hinges. Brilliant. Another day, another 89 jobs to do. Say an 89, it's probably more like 809, isn't it? Um, this. Honestly, we've been down here, what, an hour this morning? He started crying after about 10 minutes. <laughs> he's got his jumper on, he's got a comfortable spot sat there in Vinny. He didn't want to be outside, so he's in Vinny. He wants to be in here, but you know, it's a bit dodgy in here because things might fall on him. And, and the thing is, when he does come in here, he just wants to jump on Sarah. So Sarah will just be crouching down to do a little job down there and he'll jump on her lap. He's forcing onto her lap now. He's just chin on you or just on you the whole time. <laughs> it's very sweet, isn't it? It's very sweet, but not very um, not very good for working. It sort of <laughs> slows things. We've got enough distractions with all the other dogs in the village. Yeah. All seem to accumulate around here. Meanwhile, Charlie is as good as gold out here. Right there. Is that better? I think he's happy there for now. Right, can I just point out how cool our little camp is? Like our work camp with both vans. Like we're really enjoying this little area and like we're just kind of hidden away. Obviously this is a quiet road anyways. Um, and then this is just like a little dusty car park. But Actually, I, John, you just want to shut the workshop door, open and shut it. Careful with that, darling. That's a, pe just a blinking piece of wall, that is. Scraping it along the ground like that. So look, like it's a proper little area anyway. Small things in life, isn't it? Um, but anyway, yeah, we just wanted to show you, we haven't been filming like everything, so we just wanted to show you guys what we've been doing. Now, Nick has done a really, really good job on Vinny. Tomorrow is a big day. We're nervous as hell. Um, and we don't think he's gonna pass. And if he doesn't, then hopefully it's only minor things. But uh, check out some of the rust. You like, what rust? Yes, yeah, magic, isn't it? Magic. So not too bad a job now. A little bit lumpy, but aren't we all at Vinny's age? Filled in the horrible little holes and some pretty bad ones on the front wheel rims. Um, and then sanded that down, then got the hammer right out, painted over that. And then we've got some primer, which is a pretty good color match for Vinny. We've also got some white gloss, but I think this color match is pretty good. So we might just leave it, but it's looking a lot better than it was. You hardly notice a couple more stickers good as new. So also Velton had a bit of treatment as well with the rust. There were some areas, I mean, we're doing the whole underbody that we've already mentioned. Um, but yeah, we started, you can see that this has all been done now and the inside of this, the other side was actually pretty bad in this rim. We had a couple of holes and we had to, we had a couple of holes and we had to fiberglass the holes, but we did a pretty good job. And again, you know, with the old crust, the fiberglass, the white hammerite, and then paint over the top. So it's had like several different stages, similar to what Nick did on Vinster. Can I just point out those leaf springs, which were really rusty and flaky. They've been sanded and just a bit of crust. Look at that, they look new. Yeah, only done these bits. <laughs> so I haven't done this bit. 
and that way needs doing well all underneath and the other side but you can see there Amazing. is rust i think it's going to be all okay in the end so also been doing a bit of um touch-up paint um just little little tiny areas that were like slightly chipped off and rusted and things like this little bit here like the white hammerite works really well it's not a bad color match either so until we do like a big proper respray um which we probably will do one day um then that's absolutely fine little areas like this one here too that's just covered that up that was little rusty spots so just um crusted that and then the white hammerite again just to touch it up and yeah and we're actually thinking we may just touch up these and it's going to look better than big grey kind of pieces that are missing can't help yourself can you that's the problem though you just go in there to do one thing and then all of a sudden you just get carried away in it but it's so satisfying getting up rid of the peely paint sanding down the rust and just making it nice black gleaming back to metal love it Right then, so we have got loads of good stuff going on in here, haven't we? We're like sort of jumping ahead of ourselves a little bit because look, we're starting on the pretty decorative stuff. I'm not entirely sure if this was right. So we just put that bang in the middle. Yeah. About. Push down, apply pressure. Look at that! That's good, isn't it? There you go. When you start doing stuff like this, it actually gets you really excited. And um, this is obviously for the back panel here, where the lights go and stuff, because we need to get in and out. And then we've got the other one already done for the other side of that. This is the four-way stretch um, carpet. First time using it. Look at that! Not bad if we do say so ourselves. Yeah. And when you start seeing things like that, then you think how cool it's going to actually be, you know, because this is how you hide all your, your awkward sort of metal bits and anything that you don't have covered up with wood and, and whatnot and furniture. So, so we didn't really want to go with grey carpet. We did find a lovely ocean blue, lovely coloured carpet in the UK, but unfortunately they couldn't send it out here. And then we found a beige. We're like, yeah, we'll go with beige. Nice contrast between like the dark grey we've got on the beige that'll be nice we tried to order the blue from two different companies one on ebay and one on um, amazon i think and it just wasn't happening um we waited for a while and then it wouldn't clear customs i don't know if it was because it came with the spray mm. glue or whatnot it's a little bit difficult to get things out here um and you have to wait a little bit longer yeah like one to two weeks and we can't be waiting all this time yeah but i think i think this is good now it's on there it'll it'll be good because we're gonna have lots of splashes of color throughout the van anyways so yeah it'll work it's kind out. of a gray blue as well and it's that contrasting kind of with the light colored pine, pine and walls and stuff i think it'll look good i think it will look good too this bit here this is kind of like the prep that we've done um before we put the carpet on so here there's like a obviously quite a big hole there so we've just put a bit of insulation in that hole and then loosely put on the um what do you call this stuff aluminium sort of reflective reflective bubble wrap type stuff and the aluminium tape just to cover up the holes and the carpet fits very nicely and uh and yeah and there's still plenty of air because we haven't like properly sealed all this in good we think it's good anyway. So this is a uh, work in progress, but we've got, it's, it's, it's fixed the wall now very solidly, even though we have to take it all out because we've got to put the lino down, etc. It will be easy enough to take out, but it's nice and secure. Yeah, so our dividers in, in the middle there, um, that's glued and ready to go. We've done things a little bit differently as usual here. It's, it's organic, we, you know, we build something and something else progresses from that. So we've secured that to the wall to secure the furniture and then a little demonstration over there. That's the wall and that's just gonna slot in this gap here behind this, which the hinge is attaching to. 
and then to that. I see what you mean by organic, I like that. Yeah, it just kind of grows, doesn't it? You just kind of add bits and it just grows and then becomes this little home rather than a van. A little bit yeah. of planning and then the rest just, yeah. Yeah, and this morning we were just um, figuring out our hinges because this is gonna have the fridge and this opens up like this. It's gonna be a little door and we're just figuring out how to fix the hinges on, but it looks like we've come up with a solution. So, so yeah, it's all good. And we've actually brought the electrics down, the main, the main electric hub, just to kind of see that it all fits in. And um, yeah, there's our electrics. Gosh, honestly. Right, are you gonna be happy if you sat there? You wanna go there? wearing your mask so today has been a little things little bits and bobs that need to be done and adjustments that need to be made like this we had to adjust that and get these little pieces into place and we've got the other wall ready to go there but that had to be painted we had to make little adjustments to make sure the wall can fit in where our uh, unit is being bolted to the wall and everything just takes a little bit of time doesn't it but we are getting there and um, i'm looking over at little old vinster thinking we can't take him for his mot in that state at least we've got all the tools to fix him for whatever he fails on it is organized though we've got little tools in here and then that's the like junk box and big tools messy tools screwdrivers spanners all that so in here cutting tools and all that fairly neat it's so much easier having Vinny here though i swear before it's just you know you couldn't put everything outside the van so everything was in the van and you're trying to step around things trying to do the work whereas now we've got Vinny. we have got coffee making facilities here we have got a bed if we get tired. If he does as proud tomorrow and passes, then there's no more of this workhorse using him to store everything in. We are going on an adventure. We are. We're gonna, it would be so cool to take Vinny away on a little adventure. Yeah, hopefully. Come on, Vinster. I mean, obviously you guys are gonna find out what happens in this vlog. We actually had an offer. Someone went past a builder who oh, helped yeah. us with a bit of work when we first, first bought our house years ago. His brother came past and said, oh, is it for sale? You don't need two vans. You have two vans. Vinny, he wants to buy yeah. Vinny. Then when we were talking to this guy, we were both like, oh, but to let him go, I'd, you know, I don't know if we can. If we had a little plot of land, if we had off-road parking, then, you know, we would we would keep Vin, we would keep him. We would just, we just would. We would just keep doing him up and, you know, but it's It's difficult. funny, I know everyone gives, or well, most people give um, their vans a name, but, He's, it's more than just a name. He's more than just a van. He is like part of the family. It's totally. weird, I know. It's weird. I mean, it, I mean, well, hopefully this van will become the same. But it's little old Vinster, guys. Come Vinster, on, it's the Vinster. Vinster. It's the Vinster. Good morning, folks, and it's another new day. And today is a very scary day. We're feeling quite nervous because it's the big test for little old Vinster. We're going to test all the lights and the oils and the fluids in just a moment. But first, we just wanted to um, have a little celebration, actually. Today is dedicated to our little Charlie Bear because it's his anniversary of being seizure free. For Can you believe that? one whole year, which is brilliant because that's the longest time he hasn't had a seizure since he started having them since he was about a year and a half. Yeah. So he's 10 now and you haven't had one, have you? You've been so good. And if you've been following the channel, um, yeah, I think, I, think it was, I think it was in the Cotswolds since he last had one. Do you remember just before we left the oh, UK? Yeah. You may remember as well that we started him on the CBD oil from Bristol CBD. 
and we contacted them back just to sort of thank them and, and say, you know, ha the good news about Charlie being seizure free for a year. And they were so happy and they've offered to sponsor our video today, which is brilliant. Charlie's just living proof. He used to have seizures every couple of months, two to three months, um, varying in severity. And then since he's been on the CBD oil, touch wood, touch, touch wood, wood of course. We're amazed how CBD oil has helped Charlie, but it's not just available for pets. Since we mentioned Bristol CBD on this channel about six to eight months ago, a lot of people have tried their products. We'd be really interested to know how you've got on with them. So if you have tried them, drop a, drop a little message in the comments. So as well as oral CBD oils, Bristol CBD has a range of other products that can be applied directly to the skin, which helps with eczema, psoriasis, rashes, aches and joint pains. They also have a luxurious face balm, which is why we're looking so much younger these days. <laughs> Recently, Bristol CBD also released um, a new range of mushroom tinctures, which are concentrated extracts from medicinal mushrooms that have been used for centuries to promote health. So what's really cool is that each type of mushroom has a unique set of benefits. For example, lion's mane is thought to help support brain function and memory. So the mushroom tinctures are so easy to use. They can be a part of your daily routine. You just add a few drops into your favorite beverage and they can help you feel better both physically and mentally. So Bristol CBD are a small business with a big heart. The team is happy to answer any questions you have. You can call them up and ask them anything about any of their products and what you'd like to use it for and they will just give you all the answers you need. So folks, we've managed to get you a 20% discount off any order at Bristol CBD. So use our code EXPLORERS, head over to the website or give them a call and uh, start your CBD journey today. Right, here we go guys. First test. Is he gonna start? It's been a few days. I blink it hope so. Yes! Ooh. Get rid of that nasty stuff. Well, it looks like little old Vince, isn't it? We probably should have checked the fluids before we started the engine. We just got all carried away. So we'll have to check the fluids in a bit. But we did check them a few days ago, so everything should be fine. Right, let's check the lights. Right, lights! Yeah, they're working. Great! Yeah, indicators. Other one. Yeah, reverse. Okay, one's good enough. Indicators. Yeah, lightning. Yes. One reverse light out, but I mean, I could fiddle with it, but probably it's not, not worth, worth it. it. I'll break something else and start fiddling with it. So I don't know what else to check. We'll check the oils in a bit when we come back down. A little bit worried about that little squeak that sort of came and then went with the steering wheel. So we have got a bit of a, cre it's a bit of creak. A creaky squeaky Slight thing. Creak. But we'll just have to go and see what they say. Go. So we're on our way to find out Vinny's fate. Yes, and I think we can all remember what happened last Itiuve, last MOT mm -hmm. test, can't we? If you've been following us like six months ago, every six months. Yeah. Yeah, every Too six soon. months. Gosh, it's gone quick, hasn't it? So his oil levels and fluid levels are all okay. We've just checked them. He, all of his lights are working, apart from one little reverse light on one side, but that shouldn't matter. His uh, waters are working, like the spray waters, after a little bit of an adjustment with a pin. Um, he seems to be driving okay. The brakes seem to be working okay. Slight bit of noise with that squeaky, creaky thing. But apart from that... We're hoping that if there is any issues it could be the ball joints or the 
the rod ends and they're just going to point that out as an observation or just tell us to fix that and then that's it no more no more unforeseen problems but of course as it is with old vans and as it is generally when you go for these inspections anything can happen here we go again here we go again we're just working out actually um last time we did the year two uve we got an extra three months because of the whole covid thing so we got nine months instead of six and then um it's, it's late we're late because we weren't using him so it was due in december so we've actually been 10 months and the last year to uve since the last year to uve we've only done 1300 kilometers can you believe that so you think <laughs> about that we hardly use them at all so we should pass but so much has happened. Well, last time we came here, they destroyed him. I mean, you've got to take the positives, didn't you? This is going to save us about, you know, six or eight euros in fuel. So Nick is in there getting tested. And as always, I'm walking to the other end of the building to see him on the other side. Ah, <laughs> he did it again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it! Cannot believe it. Um, there's a couple of tiny observation on the lights, but you know, everything is is generally okay. We were sure he wasn't gonna get it this time. He just keeps bloody well going, doesn't he? Little old Vince that keeps bloody well going. It's time to treat our boy, I think. I think it's all that just been sat there being the workhorse, the toolbox for Velton, and he's like, hold on. I'm not done yet. I still want a few little trips. I am right not done. Same. He heard us saying we're taking him on a little holiday if he passes. So <laughs> there you go. Good old Vince. Next vlog, we'll be on the road in Vinny. <laughs> we're both sat here a little bit nervous after what happened last time. That the brakes do feel okay. So hopefully, we're not going to have a repeat performance. We just can't believe it. We're just both in a little bit of shock. We were sure that there was going to be various issues with the van this time. I think because all of the problems with the brakes that we had um, obviously before we went up to Germany to collect the, the new van and everything else that's happened it was just like you know he can't just breeze through again he can't just fluke it keep fluking it but here we are so yeah happy days we're gonna go and celebrate by buying some more wood Good morning guys and uh, we are just about recovered from the shock of this bad boy behind me passing the MOT. We still can't believe it really. We're expecting a lot of stress, a lot of hassle, trips to the mechanics, struggling to get parts, waiting for parts, all that stuff. But no, a little trooper passes again. So we are very, very happy. And now it's back to the van build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and. As promised, we're also going to do do Vinny up and fix him up and treat him and stuff like that. So Nick's already made a little start on that yesterday. Uh, just removing all of that tape um, around the edge so we can kind of clean it and redo it. We need to give some attention to the, the windscreen as well. So bits and bobs like that, but it's, it's just really, really cool that he, he got through another one, basically. Yes. Staining or painting? We're just using this sort of white colour protective type paint and I think it'll be an all right finish. And then when you look under the cupboards, going to the bottom ones, it's nice and bright in there, isn't it? And yeah. it's white and it, you know, it's not the best stuff. We're saving the best stuff for the top walls that's going to be on show. Um, yeah, so another day of jobs. We were down here yesterday um, doing the electrics, which after a bit of faffing around I think we'd have done all the threaded all of the conduits now just about well this isn't as easy as we thought everything is just just takes so much longer is there an easy way of doing threading wire through conduit 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 this is like this is like eight meters this cable's going from front to back to front so it is the longest one it's taken blinking ages That was a bit of a mission. It wasn't as easy as we thought, and we made a bit of a a bit of a boo boo, a bit of an error. We we were just we bought the conduit, which is like two centimeters, I think, and we only put one set of cables in there. So we've got two sets of cables going to the front for the lights and the USB, or the left side, shall I say, 
two sets going to the right side, water, air fan, max fan, all that sort of stuff. But we need to put two sets of cables through each, each conduit. So we've got to do it all again, basically. We also brought the water pump down and the water tank just to get an idea of what space we have here, where things are going to go. Because we're going to hopefully build this extra little unit that sits on the end of here. Get that done and then start getting uh, the fronts and different sections created. And last night our lino arrived, yeah! So we're not going to show you it, it's in the house so you have to wait until the next vlog to see what we've gone for. So that's really exciting because that means we can obviously, um, yeah, remove everything. And get, we have to take the furniture out, put the lino down and then obviously we can put the furniture back in and then it's fixed and it can stay in once the lino's down because we've got lino to cover the whole floor. Two by four isn't it? So it literally cover the whole thing. Yeah, two by four. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. So that'll be also another job coming up over the next couple of days and, and then it will really start to take shape. But we kind of want to get these walls, which we're doing now, painting their final, kind of final coat. We want to get those on first before we put the lino down because it's just going to look so much better with nice neat walls up for us to go wow kind of thing when you get your like flooring down so yeah exciting <laughs> Oh, he's gone the wrong way, he's gone the wrong way. Not that way, where are you sneaking off to? Running out of cable this end. Must be nearly there now. So that is all the conduit in now. You know where everything's going. Yeah, we just got our spread are. one for the lights in the ceiling and then and the max air fan and then we're good to good to go. We're good to kind of put all that together then. Yeah, crack like, on with things. Now we can finish off the insulation in all the ribs and everywhere basically. Then we can carpet. And now that's why Sarah's repainting, giving it a second coat, all the panels. We can carpet and then get the screw panels Screw them up. onto the walls. It feels like there's like 50 jobs that half are done half jobs. done. And so it, 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 they all come together now. We're doing it in like stages, if you know what I mean. Well, I think we're all kind of on schedule and, and yeah, it's all just very, very exciting. And soon there's going to be huge transforma transformations, mm, I do believe. Big changes big next changes. week. Big changes, I think so. Next week is going to be pretty cool and we'll also be taking Vinny out next week gosh getting carried away now um, yeah hopefully so we'll we'll end it there guys thank you all so much for watching thanks for sticking around make sure you're following us on all our other socials and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you all next Thursday take care guys see you next week bye